Alright, um, yeah, today I'm gonna just, blah, just a whatever day, um, but I did come across some diagrams that I made, um, a while ago actually when I found out I had synesthesia. <coughs> I'm still sick. Sorry. Well, first of all, synesthetes are one of the traits that synesthetes are known for is um, actually mapping out time in a very specific place. Um, like, like we, we can map out the year, um, my year. I actually have a drawing of it, I just don't, I haven't colored it yet because it needs color because all the months have different colors. I don't have it here, I'm going to do that in a different video, but my, my year is actually kind of like, um, kind of like a circle, except it's more oblong, and then some of the months will be like this big, and like, I know January is like this long, and it's only on this side. Um, yes, when I get that ready, I will put that in a video. Today, I actually have a different, uh, timeline that I mapped, um, for those of you who don't have synesthesia, it's... Probably the best way to describe it is, um, like, well, it's really difficult, I think, for us to map this sort of thing because it's almost like something that doesn't exist on, like, um, our plane of existence. I don't know how to say it. Um, it's kind of like, well, like, if you map a year, like, a lot of people would, you know, probably just do a line, like, January to December, um, but certain people might have like, it might curve or just in our minds. Uh, today I actually have a timeline of, it's really weird, of like being through school, like all the schools I've been to, which is actually just three, uh, because I've lived in the same place my whole life, so it was elementary school, middle school, and high school. Um, and then for some reason they have a like if you were to put it on paper it would have a very specific each school would have a very specific place on the paper um, so I will show you I have it here I don't have like fancy software on my computer where you know I can just put it up there I know I could probably scan it in but that would require me to dub over the whole thing I just don't want to get into it so I think it's just easier if I just show you guys with this hard copy I have to reverse this just a second. Ah! Okay. That's better. Alright, so we'll start at the bottom. This is my elementary school. For some reason, it has, this is the exact shape I see in my head. Um, when I see it, like, I don't know, this is, okay, this is an exact representation. I have not fudged anything. This is exactly what I see when I think about everywhere I've been in school. For some reason, it has a very specific place on a map. So, so this is elementary school, and I don't know why, but there's just a lot of, like, green and blue and yellow, and it doesn't, it's kind of like a mush of it. I didn't actually have a specific place where in this shape that the colors go, but they just do. So there's like a lot of blue and yellow and green. I don't know why. I don't. Um, it was a happy place. Maybe that's why. And then this is like middle school. So it actually is above and just over uh, the elementary school. And for some reason it's just a block that's red. I guess nothing exciting happened in middle school. I don't know. And then this is high school, and anyone who's been through high school or is still in high school, you probably know that that was like <sighs> being through hell and back, unless you have like a really good high school. I didn't. My experience, at least, it sucked. High school sucks. Just so you know, it does. It's tough. I don't know how anyone got through it. I don't, I don't even know how I did. I just, if you're in high school right now, I am so sorry. But it gets better, I promise. I'm in college right now, and it's pretty cool. There's still really immature people, but it's way better than high school. You'll get through it, guys. You'll be okay. 
But anyway, so here is high school. It's like a diag oops, diagonal line. Um, and it's just got like red and white. Don't know. But I think maybe the diagonal is kind of like you're rising up to the top and being, becoming a senior and then you'll get out of there. And for some reason college just isn't on the timeline. I think because with college nothing is set in stone, maybe. Just, maybe that's just how my subconscious works. But like with elementary school through high school, everything's pretty much set in stone. Like you have to do what your teachers say, but you don't in college. You don't even have to go to college. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Let's see if we can get a good view of this. That's what it looks like in my mind exactly. Elementary school's always been below everything else. Middle school's always been kind of the side and in between. And high school's always been this sort of diagonal ascension to the top of the paper. And all these colors are correct as well. So. I thought that was kind of interesting. And I'm really sorry, by the way, for this crappy, crappy sort of interpretation. It's not my best work, trust me. You guys see my better work. <clears throat> so, that is, that is my diagram. I am very proud of it. So, with that in mind, I hope you guys have learned something new. Probably not, but that's kind of what my channel's for, is to um, teach, and hopefully somebody will learn something and gain something from it. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Alright, bye-bye!